got 10 05. What a family got a news for me dash 20 Mary to lead today it is sent for Sunday in my city, Chicago, June 5th, 2022. So they say just got through watching the Golden State Warriors and the um, Celtics. Um, game two finals. I actually fell asleep on it and stuff and woke up in the third quarter at about three minutes and 35 seconds left on the shot clock. Cause see, God is always on time. Now, if you go to my MySpace, my fault. <laughs> I'm still thinking about my MySpace. You know, they, they, they raped that. That uh, website of mine. Oh, boy, I tell you, the devil is busy. But if you go to my Facebook, Mary Dash Lee Davis, uh, you will notice that I screenshot the time three minutes and 35 seconds earlier today. Now, it is 10... Oh, seven at night. So that screenshot was from hours ago, and I put it on my Facebook. Now the score was eighty-eight to one oh seven. They won by nineteen points. If you know my story and you're a real Mary McAmira, this should be real easy for you. A no-brainer. They try to steal nineteen years of sobriety from me. Lil' Kim said in her song, Slipping, the whole system's corrupt. And now I can see it for myself. And now I know why I've never been to a basketball game or a Cubs game. And that's probably why they was harassing, um, what's the guy, Trey Song, at, uh, I think it was a Chiefs football game because they don't want us to see what's going on and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But now I can see it clearly because, like I said, I woke up in the third quarter. I thought it was the fourth quarter, and I thought it was uh, Stephen Curry who hit that, you know, three-point at the buzzer in the third quarter. And that I thought was the fourth quarter because I was like, yeah, now that's how you go out because earlier I was playing, you know, Lay down basketball, right? I be laying down in my bed and I be shooting, you know, baskets. And I was missing and missing. But I was thinking about, you know, this uh, TikTok video that I seen of Stephen Curry. He shot 16 in a row. You know, and nothing happens in this world by mistake. And I don't want to go off into that. But I had a screenshot the time three minutes in. Uh... 32 seconds and uh, it was 16% on my phone as far as battery time my fault it was 61% and I'll be like yeah I'll be coming from behind and then I kept shooting and stuff and then you know I got the rainbow laying down ball at uh, 3 minutes and uh 35 seconds and 61% was on my phone. So I was thinking about, you know, me and I was thinking about my mother, Mary Lee Wright, who, uh, you know, allegedly Posa had died on March 23rd of 2000. And I, um, was at this uh, foster family house at 1335. See, you just put the one in front of the 335, and that'll be 1335 East 75th Street in my city, Chicago, where I became the originator of rap music at the age of uh, 8, 1975. Now, if you're a real Mary McAmire, this won't sound confusing to you. But if you're not, you know, you'd be like, what the hell is she talking about? But if you're a sports fan, you would know that the third quarter 
they stopped the clock at 3 minutes and 35 seconds. And in the fourth quarter, they stopped it at 3 minutes and 35 seconds. Art of War, you don't repeat it. Now, like I said, I thought it was Stephen Curry who hit that buzzer beater in the third quarter. But it was Jordan Poole. Now, I went to get a couple of snacks for the game or whatever to watch or whatever and stuff. And I, you know, asked the security guard, I said, who you going for? You know, he was like, you know, I'm kind of like a Bulls fan. I said, that's, I said, that show is over. I said, I like green because everybody seen to like green. Now, subliminally, I may have been talking about the Boston Celtics, but I kind of vaguely knew about the green that's on the Golden State Warrior team. And guess what his number is? Number 23. But the guy who I thought was Stephen Curry, who shot the buzzer beat in the third quarter, guess what his name is? Jordan Poole. See, you can't get out of playing Poole or the Bulls either way. Now, Elijah Poole, a.k.a. Elijah Muhammad, that's his name, Elijah Poole. You know, Malcolm X, leader or whatever the case for the nation of Islam. You understand what I'm saying? It all ties in. And that's why I say the whole system is corrupt. You understand? Now, they had to have known that I screenshot that 335. Because I'll be in this room talking like there's people in here. Because I know they be listening because they know you like that. So I just, you know... Give them a show, I guess. But like I said, if you go on my Facebook, you will see that I screenshot it and put it on my Facebook. And Facebook has got billions of people on it, right? But they act like they don't know who I am. I screenshot three minutes and 35 seconds. The time that I made that rainbow shot. Because everybody wants to be me. Mary Lee, you'll get a news reporter, originator of rap music. You know, they wearing them leggings. Them leggings, you see, I started that. Real talk. I used to walk around, you know, with my leggings up under my shorts. Real talk. They stole that. You know, they steal a lot of stuff. They don't give me credit for anything, but they act like they don't know who I am. So that's why I don't really watch basketball for real for real or tv no more because everything that i really thought was sacred come to find out it's just a con or whatever and stuff now you could be like oh you just reaching with the three minutes and 35 seconds screenshot or just you know when they stopped the clock but they did it in the third quarter and the fourth quarter you understand what i'm saying i would have never probably even said nothing had they not did it in the fourth quarter but to top it off they beat them by what 19 points, the same amount of years they try to steal from me as far as my sobriety. And, you know, when they gave me cancer in 2016. You understand? So I'm very passionate about this because, you know, I treasure and cherish my sobriety. And I can understand how so many guys can uh, hate on one person. I've never been to a basketball game, a football game in my city. You know, no real fun, you know. But I've uh, endorsed everybody for the most part. Look, I'm not looking for no sympathy or nothing. I just want you, if you're a real Mary McAmire, just step your game up. Give me your best game like I give you my best game. Now, I did a video earlier, and I'll put it with this one. And the uh, Bible scripture was Psalms 109 through, I, I wanted to do 119, but add on 108 through 119. And then I'm going to flip the Bible for tonight and this, the wrap-up portion of the, of the um, other day in, you know, the finals when it come to me. So I just, if I do continue to watch them, it'll just be for entertainment purpose because... 
They make all that money. And it's all fixed. The fight is fixed. So I'm going to break these here balls. Earlier today, I dropped the... Um, it added up to 23 on my mama, real talk. So, you know, number 23, Mr. Green on the Golden State Warriors. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. He's, he's like the black Dennis Rodman or whatever and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He was all up in their face. Anyway, see what dropped now. All right, y'all. It's for the real winners and stuff. This is the six. Now, it look orange, and it don't look like a six. But if you're a real Mary McAmara, I've been looking for my six ball that I can't find, so I replaced it with this one. At the age of six, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper in 1973. Was standing up for myself. As a child abuse victim. I went to 1335 East 75th Street, 75th and Kenwood. And I went to live with my foster parents, the Redmonds, Betty Jean Redmond, Leon Baker Redmond, my foster sister, Kimberly Redmond, and my foster brother, Edward Redmond. Okay? I don't play about that. You understand what I'm saying now? If you want to cheat yourself, my higher power is not going to cheat me. They say, Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. So I got my go fuck yourself glasses on. And I guess they paid off and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think you're going to fuck me one last time out of my legacy, you know what I'm saying? My higher power is not going to let you uh, make a fool out of me. Okay? Real talk. So for all the ones who's playing with my legacy and cheating and embarrassing yourself, real Mary McAmara's, go to my Facebook Mary Dashley Davis, D-A-V-I-S, and just see it for yourself, okay? Now, this is the scripture for the day, the night. Let me see what it say. What's that? Hold on, because, you know, they trying to rob me blind. I have to, have to get some real glasses. Uh, where my here they go right here. Hold on a second. I don't want y'all saying I'm cheap. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, I had 2020 vision in 2008 before I got railroaded for a so-called dishonor police officer in my city, Chicago. This is uh 14 and 15, page 436, 437. I come from behind to get mine. That would be 73. Okay? You know, if, I, if I'm coming from behind, that would be 73. But uh, add it up, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Like I said in my um, Merry Christmas Haters video, you know, y'all could have got half of the kingdom. Like they said in Esther's. Chapter, what was it? Esther's and Mark. They talk about, you know, giving a person up to half of their kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, y'all don't believe. I understand. Money, Mississippi, you're going to quit playing with me. If you add up 14 and 15, you got 29. Oprah and my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, were both born on the uh, 29th. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, they say numbers don't lie. And, um, you know, it's all about numerology with them, especially if they're trying to kill a person or discredit them or tap them out, you know, because people get tired and they have to uh, tap out and live their best life. But when it comes to me, this is my truth for real, which means if I die, I die for real. You understand what I'm saying? You know, if I get killed, murdered, or whatever, this is for real. This ain't for play play. This ain't a movie. 
it's not a game. But uh, for some reason, you know, they take me for a joke. So we're going to do 13, 14, 15, and sweet 16 for Stephen Curry. Matter of fact, listen. Yeah, I ain't broke on none of this. Let's just go from, uh, since they won by 19, let's go from uh, 13 to 19. Second Chronicles chapters 13 through 19. Okay? And I don't know what that's going to say, but a gift is from God and a surprise to kill you. Stop playing with my legacy. And if anything happened to me, ballers, shot callers, you understand what I'm saying? See, you can do you, but you can't do me. And you can't do my high you power. You see that seven? See how close that came from dropping? That would have been the six and the seven. That would have been really too good to be true, right? But look at the lay of the, the game. See the game? You understand what I'm saying? Jordan had what? Six championships. Okay? Now, back in the day, Pottawatomie Park, Rogers Park, I had some street clothes. I was with AA and some people from AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, and we were just shooting around and stuff. And they threw the ball to me. And I think it, I was like three-point range, something like that. You understand what I'm saying? It was a nice distance. And I threw it in, and it went in. They threw it back to me. Now, I didn't know I was being tested. And it went in. They threw it back to me again. Third time, it went in. And, you know, I remember it going in three times. But what I did not know, that the school Jordan was right across the field from the um, park, Pottawatomie Park. I didn't know that. And that's why I say a gift is from God and a surprise to kill you. I just didn't know. You understand what I'm saying? But that's how the devil works. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. And when you win, they get mad and discredit you and woo out the band. Hey, don't hate on me. Hate on yourself. I'm a girl, okay? So all my real girl Ballers out there, and especially ones that have been violated from these guys, you know. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, who was the uh, was he a football player that killed his pregnant wife? You understand what I'm saying? Because he didn't want to pay child support and all that. I mean, these type of people we dealing with, when y'all going to man up? Stop stealing all my shit, acting like y'all better than me. You're not going to beat me. You're never going to beat me. And Jordan, whether you on that team or not, or... Behind all this, you and Oprah, because y'all did y'all little thing at the stadium or whatever and stuff. It's embarrassing. I'm a one-person show, and you niggas still losing. Step your game up. Peace.